Hey everyone, good morning. I hope you're having a great day today. Thank you so much for joining us. We are right on the border with the country of Laos. Literally, I can see the bridge that leads to the country of Laos. This is Thailand and I am in love with this country. Of all the things that I would invite you here to do with me, of course, there's going to be a lot of tasty food. And some of the things that I love the most are the dishes that originate in the border areas. So this dish specifically is showing Thai and Lao, different flavors, different variations that both people of both countries just love to eat. There are pretty much no areas like border areas for mixes, for blends of, of culture, but also, of course, food, the tastiest bits of culture. And I just ordered two dishes, a crazy, super special seasoning right here. Let's learn about some noodles. And again, thank you so much for joining. Hope you're having a great day today. It is sunny, but the weather is cool. Just about the perfect situation to start today's food explorations. So there is a noodle shop over there, and you can't quite clearly see why there are 15 cars parked in front of a single noodle shop. We made a U-turn, we are going for those noodles. Let's go. This looks so awesome. Just the sheer amount of things they're selling is incredible. They have sour vegetables, they have fruit shakes, they have a huge dessert selection right here. All of the kong wan. And, but we are here for something that is not sweet, it is meaty, it is noodly, it is thick and rich. We're going for the noodles right here. Nea luo jiao pia. We're gonna have at least one other bowl, but I really am curious to try this jiao pia for the noodles. This looks so awesome. ดีครับนี่ครับเดี๋ยวเมนูนี้ไหนไหนกูกูแมปนะครับแล้วก็มาเลยน่ากินนะครับเจียวเจียวเพียร์อันนี้ทําเองนะครับเจียวเพียร์
So you've got three decisions to make. She said they have nea, which is beef. So they have the steamed normal beef, and then they have the brisket, the long boiled beef. Um, and then you can also have those mixed together, which is what I got. Then the noodles. There are a ton of different kinds of noodles. Rice noodles and also rice with egg in the noodle flour. So I got one of the yellow egg noodles, which is my favorite order. Walking up, I saw the menu and there was a special ingredient on the menu, so I'll, I'll tell you more about that. But I got that one. And then for Lee, she, uh, we both got the namto, which is the blood broth. They also have clear broth, so that was the second option. Excuse me, the third option. And then you pick the type of noodle. I just confused myself horribly, but at least I ordered successfully. Okay, let's wait for our noodles. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just practicing my herbs. I'm trying to remember the name of this one. Uh, pak pao. Oh yeah, pak pao. So. So, been so. So this was it. So I I was not actually sure how it was going to come. So I ordered this, but I actually didn't know that I ordered it separate. So it comes separate because maybe if you cook it together, it doesn't work like that. So anyways, he said it is full of lemongrass, which I can smell immediately. But also, did you see when he was gesturing inside, he is uh, motioning as if he was a cow. So there is bile in this. And it is not raw bile. They will boil it or steam it. Anyways, this is just herbaceous and beautiful. We are gonna get into this. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, thank you. Man. So that is nua lua. Lua means blanched. So it is cooked, but not all the way. So rare beef. And it's just focusing on beef quality. You know what? Paleo keto. There's your there's your Lao-style keto-friendly meal right there. We do have some carbs on the way, but we can just begin our Lao-style keto diet right now. Oh, wow. Just grab it. It is hot. I don't think you could use your fingers. The water is still steaming right there. And we dunk into that jiao pia. Thank you, man. I'm so excited. Oh wow, again, a recipe that has sweetness as the furthest thing from any description. The bitterness actually is totally taken over by the the herbal sourness from the lemongrass. That is incredible, but you can still detect there is some power, there is some funkiness at work in there. So that is the pia. This, this is where Isan just shines. The ingenuity of mixing in something like, and learning how to work with a power like digestive bile when you're talking about flavor. <laughs> Oh, 
It is so good. Mm. My saliva glands are working overtime right now. That is amazing. Hello. I know you are super excited. So they have some weak tea, which is awesome. I am going to take that lead. So would you like tea or water? Tea. Sorry, I just made the, basically made the choice for you. If you are a noodle lover, then you will know the best noodles are the hottest noodles. So I'm gonna try to do this quick. I am just gonna give a run through of all the things that I love to put in my noodles. So, ooh, made a follow just there. Thank you. Okay, so let's try try again. So let me actually first check that I have the right. Yep, okay. So I got the yellow egg noodles. Lee got the white thin rice noodles. So this is my order. I go with the which is the soup. So I just said beef brisket yellow egg noodles, and the blood broth. That's my order, and this is how I like to season it. At this place, it's cool, they bring you the herbs, but at some noodle places, you can pick your own. This is cool though, they brought a huge selection. So I'm putting in some white lettuce, Vietnamese coriander, which is called pak pao in Thai. I like pak pao, so putting a lot of it. Next up, we have, oh, basil. There you go, some holy basil. Oh, they've cut it into nice, easy portions too. That's great. And then another favorite, mint. This is called pak salana. In goes the salana. Anything else? Okay, so we've got four herbs. Next. Lime. I will go with one and a half. And then they actually have roasted chilies. I'm gonna use my chopsticks. That's so cool, the grill marks on these, these are fresh. They grill these for you right here. Go with five of those. Okay, next. These sides, you can see white sugar, crushed peanuts, pickbone, which is crushed red chilies. Let's see what we got in these. Oh, nice. Okay, definitely going for that one. A chili jam. And then this one got some vinegar. Okay, so actually, these right here are my seasonings. Let's go with a spoon of vinegar. And a spoon of that chili jam. Oh, it looks like they fried it with, with garlic. Wow. That looks awesome. Way more than just chilies. Okay, definitely deep fried shallots and garlic. Wow, anyways. And then, thanks to uncle, we have a special side right here. Shake a little bit of this on. So this is just basically pure fat. Oh, okay, there's deep fried garlic in there too. Okay, that's enough for me. And you can see they do it themselves because the some of the pig skin hair is still on there. Prepare to taste. Grab a soup spoon. Taste the broth first. So this broth is a nam tok broth. It's gonna have spices, and then its red color comes from the blood. Oh, mm. <laughs> it is extremely garlicky and awesome. We've got roasted chilies and chili jam, so this is gonna be spicy and warm. Just, I love the egg noodles. Oh my gosh, this is so great. Dunk those herbs down in there, get the chilies down in there. Oh, they even gave us some meatballs as well. Take my favorite noodle and a piece of that beef. There are a few things as photo-friendly as a bowl of noodles like this, right? Cheers. Awesome. Some mint and 
and a roasted chili. Mm. When they roast it like that, it's not as bright. Obviously smoky. Oh, I think I just felt, yeah, within two seconds, I felt myself start to sweat. As, as any Southeast Asian living lover of noodles will tell you, sweating is part of the enjoyment of a real bowl of noodles. Eating noodles in an air-conditioned environment, it's somehow just not the same. You need that sweat. It just adds to the whole experience. Mm. Mm. I forgot, one more thing. One of uncle's crispy bits of pork belly. Mm. There are so many options to chase, it's just incredible. And the special move is going into that jail, that dip that is full of lemongrass and bile. That is some deep Isan flavor for sure. Yeah, this is a lot of meat. It is our second breakfast for today. Mm. Mm. And that's it. Please leave me a comment below. How do you like your noodles? Or what was the dish that just stood out in your mind when you had a chance to visit Southeast Asia? This part of the world just excels, exceeds abundantly with noodle creations, with noodle genius. Stuff like this to go on the side, but also just in the bowl of noodles itself. There are just so many variations and versions and you gotta experience, pick and choose for yourself what you like the most. Lee, thank you for being behind the camera. Lee is a noodle lover and she has been so patient with me letting me taste mine first. So Lee, thank you, please. Please enjoy that delicious looking bowl of Kwee Tiao Sen Lek. Beef are so good. Have you ever been to Mount Kai before? Yes, the second year I'm in Thailand. I go to Lao with two Korea teachers, Song and. What do you remember eating when you were here? Actually, we just directly go to the border. Oh, okay. Let me welcome you to Nong Kai. Oh, this is great hanging out with you. Thank you for showing me your noodle skills. Seasoning to perfection. I was just playing around before I met her. Seven years of not knowing what I was doing. Now I've learned how to eat. Okay, before we go too much farther, you have to try the special dip. I love it. I want to see what you think. What's this? Jiao Pia. Jiao Pia. Is that bitter? And a little bit can ignore sweet. Oh yeah. Wow. It's so different than Isam. Okay. Isam dip. More gentle but yeah. more bitter. I can't remember having Ooh. a dip like that actually. It's your flavor, like yes. It, yeah. <laughs> wow. It's amazing. โอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเค
it's so cool. It's so nice when they are interested, when they ask. Yeah. And it's so funny to then overhear them saying, oh, look at this last video, look at this one, look at this one. It's so cool. I'm honored. That's so cool. And their beef noodles are no joke. But as good as those beef noodles are, this. The visit to this restaurant is worth it for this. This dip is out of control. So this morning, which is another video, this morning we had a dip that equals the flavor, just rivals the depth of flavor. Totally different style though. This is like a non-vegetarian depth of flavor. And the other one was based on tomatoes. Whoever came up with that combination, big kudos to you. Okay, so I have finished, almost finished here. Just scooping up the last bits of my bowl. It's a good day, and we've still got more to do. <laughs> the roasted chilies are making me sweat, and they are amazing. Amazing flavor. Love that. So cool. Little touches like that. They don't need to roast the chilies. Many restaurants just have fresh chilies. But it's little things like that. Them going the extra distance, you know? It's just... That's what would set them apart from other noodle places. Making similar beef noodles in this... In this whole strip area along the river. Right here. Delicious. Pigeons coming into the restaurant too. Okay, let's go pay. Hey, it's fun to joke around. Uh, also, very cool when it's a huge family, you know, because then there are enough family members that they can joke and just have fun with themselves all the all the day long. Thank you. So the total bill, one fifty. So we had two. Uh, extra size bowls of beef noodles and then the side of just the beef and that dip. What was that? The pork, the deep fried pork was 10 baht. So I think uh, 70, 50, 20, and then 10. So 150. So 150 baht. Oh, this is a good spot. And I'm gonna, I don't even know the name yet. I'm gonna go find the name right now. ต้นต้นพี่น้องพี่ชาชีลันไปถึงชาชีลันมาเจอให้ก๋วยเตี๋ยวเสียบโอ้โอเคได้กันโอเคพี่ก๋วยเตี๋ยวเสียบมันแล